Amid all the evacuations from Afghanistan, one country is holding off. China is urging its citizens to remain indoors in Afghanistan, but it is keeping its Kabul embassy open. Yesterday, the country's foreign ministry said China is ready for, quote, friendly and cooperative relations with the Taliban. NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Freer joins us now from Beijing. So, Janice, what else can you tell us about China's reaction to the Taliban taking power in Afghanistan? Why are they keeping their embassy open? Well, a Taliban takeover in Afghanistan represents uh, challenges for China, but also opportunities. And Beijing has been laying the groundwork for some time for these, quote unquote, friendly, uh, friendly relations that they hope to establish with the group. Uh, this is a shift from the past. Back in 1996, China refused to recognize Taliban rule, closed their embassy there. This time, the embassy is remaining open, and officials told me yesterday that they are remaining in close contact and communication with the Taliban to ensure the safety of the few voluntary staff that they have left there. Um, a, a lot of this shift started to happen uh, even a few weeks ago. Uh, China's foreign minister, Wang Yi, hosted talks in Tianjin, that's close to Beijing, uh, with a Taliban delegation led by Mullah Bardar. Uh, they emerged from those meetings, they took pictures together, they released statements, and both sides seemed satisfied that the talks were productive. Uh, according to Chinese officials yesterday, the Afghan Taliban have repeatedly expressed their hope to develop good relations for China, and they look forward to China's participation in the reconstruction of the country. Uh, so at this point, uh, it's not outright recognition of the Taliban as the legitimate government of Afghanistan, but it is cautious support, which is uh, more than what most countries are extending right now. You know, Janice, part of the story here is that China has strong economic interests across Central Asia and Pakistan. So is it worried that rising Taliban influence could affect them and impact those interests? Undoubtedly, China has big economic interests in Afghanistan, uh, massive investments in infrastructure, minerals and mining, as well as oil. So they're looking to protect those interests, but also looking to extend their influence. On the other side of it, too, the Taliban uh, sees opportunity and economic benefit in uh, cooperating with China, especially with the massive Belt and Road Initiative that is stretching across Central Asia. Uh, it's why in meeting with the Taliban, China wanted to extract security assurances. Security is the main driver for China in this. They have fears of extremism on their border with Afghanistan and the western part of the country, specifically in Xinjiang. Uh, they were able to get the assurance from the Taliban that uh, they would not have their fighters use Afghan territory as a base to launch attacks inside China. But Chinese officials say that they are now expecting to hold the Taliban to their word.